health tonight, suffering from a stroke can be devastating, leaving victims unable to do simple things like standing up, sitting down, even walking. But now new technology is helping to give stroke patients their life back. An Yang has more. I started to feel some numbness in the left side of my body. You know, when I tried to stand up, I noticed that I had almost fallen down. Colton Peake is only 46 years old, but on April 28th, he suffered a stroke, leaving the left side of his body without any strength. My whole left side was pretty much uh, just there, pretty much. It, it w wasn't strong at all. It, it was just pretty much lifeless for the most part. Pete couldn't walk, which was devastating for the father of two, who was usually very active. It's like in less than a minute, you're a totally different person. And uh, that was tough. But on the bright side, Peek still had feeling on his left side, and the stroke did not affect him cognitively. So doctors at National Rehabilitation Hospital thought his best hope for ever walking again was an experimental machine called the Zero-G system. And we'll just first start with him just walking a little bit. He was a very good candidate because the most significant aspects of, the, of his impairments related to uh, weakness, motor weakness. So as he steps up on the step, the system moves up with him. As he the zero G system helps stroke him. and traumatic brain injury patients learn to walk again by creating a zero gravity environment. Patients are put into this harness, and the machine actually lifts some of their body weight off of them. This helps them practice things like standing up, sitting down, and walking. As patients start to gain back their strength, more weight is added. Scientist Joe Heidler created the zero G we can get them up in a very safe, controlled manner, and they can practice um, tasks such as just walking, um, postural balance activities, stepping over life. obstacles, um, in a safe, controlled manner such that when we take them out of the harness um, and they return to home, they're used to doing those tasks. To, um, facing me again. Heidler says normally stroke patients work on a treadmill, but that doesn't prepare them for the real world. It's not just about walking, but it's doing the things that they're going to have to do in the community at home. It allowed me to have 30 to 40 pounds lifted up off me, which allowed me to gradually learn how to walk better and how to stabilize myself and how to uh, just, gradually, just gradually get back to some sense of normalcy. Colton Peake has been working with the Zero-G machine for four weeks now. He believes he's on his way to recovery. I have a firm belief that I'll be able to walk normally and respond normally and do everything that I've been able to do before the stroke. Unyang, News 4. National Rehabilitation Hospital is still testing the Zero-G system on stroke and brain injury patients. The machine's developers hope to eventually use it to help others, including elderly patients who have fallen or have trouble walking.